Today I'm going to show you how to calculate percentages of numbers quickly and easily. And you might actually find that you can do these in your head. First, we're going to find 10% of $24. Okay, now $24 is the total cost of the item. So 100% of the total cost, we're going to consider 100% of the total cost to be $24. By 10% is nothing more than moving the decimal one place to the left, which gives us $2.00. And 40 cents. Why does this work? Well, it works because there are 10 10 percent and 100 percent. So think of 10 percent as a part of 100 percent. And to find 10 percent requires that you divide 100 by 10. So if we take 24 and divide it by 10, that's the same as moving the decimal one place, which is two dollars and 40 cents, which means that there are 10 two dollars and 40 cent amounts in 24 dollars. Next, we need to find five percent of $24 is very similar to the last calculation because, well, let's consider 100% of the total cost of the item to be $24, okay? First, we find 10%, and 10%, like we did in the last problem, is to move the decimal one place, so we get $2.40, but if we notice, 5% would be exactly half of 10%. So if we know that 10% is $2.40, then to find 5% would be to cut the 10% amount in half. So 5% would be the same as dividing 240 by 2, which gives us $1.20. Okay? So 5% of $24 is $1.20. Next, we're going to learn how to calculate 1% of $24. This is also very similar to the 10%. So if we consider 100% of the item to be $24, Then to calculate 1% is to notice that there are exactly 100 1% in 100%. So to find 1% would be the same as taking 100% and dividing it into 100 parts, which means that we have to take the $24 and divide it into 100 parts. And to do that is to move the decimal two places. Why? Well, when we divide it by 10 parts, 10 has one zero, so we move the decimal once. When we divide into 100 parts, 100 has two zeros, so we move the decimal twice, which gives us $0.24 or 24 cents. Ah. Okay. And just for kicks, let's go ahead and do 0.1% of $24. This is used in a lot of tax calculations. 0.1% would be, well, if 10% is one decimal movement, 1% is two decimal movements, you might guess that 0.1% is three decimal movements. So if we consider 100% of the item to be $24, 0.1% would be three decimal movements to the left, and that extra space is going to be replaced with a zero. 0.1% is 0 0.024 dollars, or you can think of this as two pennies and a little bit more than a penny. Now, what can you use these base percentages for? Well, you use them as building blocks to build larger percentages. And so if we want to calculate, for instance, 18% of, let's say 18% of $36. first thing we have to do is we have to consider 100% of the cost of the item to be $36, okay? Next, we're going to find 10%, and to find 10% is to move the decimal one place to the left, which gives us $3.60, okay? Next, we find 5%, to find 5% of $3.60 is to take half of $3.60, because 10% is $3.60, 5% will be half of that, which is $1.80. And lastly, we want to find our 1%. We're not going to need a 0.1%, only in, like I said, in tax calculations normally. But in a 1% or 1% 1 of $36 would be moving the decimal two places, or a movement of two decimal places would give us 36 cents. Now, to build 18% is to notice that we can use the 10%, the 5%, and the 1% as building blocks. So to build 18%, we're going to need a 10%, a 5%, a 1%, a 1%, and a 1%. Notice that 10 and 5 make 15%, 16, 17, and 18%, where each of these percentages 
has a specific dollar value. We know that 10% is $3.60. We know that a 5% is $1.80. We know that a 1% is 36 cents. And we have this three times. And notice, if we add 10, 5, 1, 1, and 1, we get 18%. And if we, that's the same, and then, so percentage is 18%. To find the value, the dollar value is to add the dollar amounts. 360 plus 180 is $5.40. 36 three times is 108. So I have a total of $6.48. Now, if you had to, most of the time you go to a store, your calculations are quite simple. For instance, you walk into a store, uh, the item is 40% off of $70, so your item costs $70 and it's a 40% off sale, then you can do this type of calculation mentally. Uh, so in this case, well, what's the building block of 40% would be four 10%. So you have to calculate a 10% first. And 10% of $70, one decimal movement is going to be $7. So 40% is going to be four of these. So 40% is four seven dollars, which is $28. Remember that this is the amount of money that you're saving. So you take $28 off of the $70, and $70 minus $28 gives you a final cost of $42. And last